Inside North Korea, the international reporters departed from Wonsan last night and are now on their way to the Pungeri nuclear test site. Now, if the weather is favorable enough, according to what the North had said before, the dismantling of the test site is expected to be held as early as today. For more on this developing news, we connect live to our EG1, part of South Korea's Joint Press Corps for Pungeri. Ji Won. Semin, the reporters left the East Coast city of Wonsan at around 7 p.m. last night, and it's expected to take around 12 hours to get to Chedok Station near the entrance to the massive test site. So we're guessing that they got off the train this morning and are now on their four hour bus ride up a dirt road to the Mount Mantap Valley, after which there is still a two hour hike to the site. It's been said that the reporters will not have internet connection at the site or en route, so we're still unsure which stage of the journey they are on. And that also means that we will have to wait until the reporters get back to their press center in Wonsan, probably on Friday, to have stories or footage of the dismantling of the site. We still haven't been notified when the dismantling will take place, but with clear skies expected in Pungeri today, hopefully it will be carried out later in the afternoon. But there are a number of interesting things the reporters have delivered via various means. According to the Associated Press, one of the teams on the journey, the reporters were asked not to open their blinds during their travel. Also, the media were expected to pay their own costs for the trip. The train fare was 75 U.S. dollars per person round trip, and each of their meals, $20. Back to you, Semin.